This is a quick analysis of Neutral Tones by Thomas Hardy. In this video you will see some of the techniques used and you will see how you might write about them using quotes and technical terminology. We're going to start by looking at the natural imagery. Winter represents endings, the lack of colour represents the loss of feelings and the tone created is of sadness and loss. The speaker recalls a winter day which evokes the end or death of a relationship. The neutral tones of winter, including the white sun and grey leaves, have no life or vibrancy, reflecting the love which was lost. The sense of ending is developed through the sibilant starving sod and the homonym ash, which shows the type of tree, but could also be the remnant of a fire which has gone out. So it's sibilant being sibilance, the s, s sounds, and the homonym ash and ash, so they sound the same and are spelled the same, but they are different words. Next we are going to look at Lexis, or the words chosen. We have personification in the choice of verbs. We have oxymoron, where two words that don't go together are put together. And we have words connected to games, so they are from the semantic field of games. Hardy's lexical choices show how his lover played with his emotions. Her personified eyes rove over him, and the oxymoronic tedious riddles reveal how she cannot remember what she ever liked about him and is now ready to walk away. The poet exploits the semantic field of games to create anguish because for the speaker this love was not a trivial diversion. Next we're looking at imagery. We have a superlative with a deadest we have a paradox where two things coexist that shouldn't be able to coexist, and we have assonance, the i sound of grin and bitterness. There is also a simile. The images created are of death, danger, and pessimism. Hardy plays with language in the third stanza to create a pessimistic, deathly tone which foreshadows how he will be haunted by this breakup. The superlative deadest is nonsensical, because death is a finite state. Stranger still is the paradoxical concept of having strength to die. Hardy creates a scene in which the impossible is possible, showing how he was surprised by the end of the relationship. The assonant grin of bitterness compared to an ominous bird was a warning sign that her love had faded. Finally, we are looking at structure. The turn, or the volta, reveals that he is still hurting. The turn is the part of a poem where the answer is revealed, or where it changes direction. The cyclical structure links the end of the poem to the beginning. The face, sun, tree, pond and leaves were all mentioned in the first stanza. The turn in the final stanza reveals how he always returns to that painful day with each new deceitful love. The alliteration in Rings the Wrongs elongates the agony and injustice the speaker feels. He recalls the details of the fateful morning described in the first stanza to create a never-ending cycle of despair, although now the pain is even stronger. God cursed is more violent than chidden. In the opening stanza, the son was chidden. If you are interested in personalised tuition for AQA English Language or Literature, please visit the website shown on screen. And thank you for watching.